Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in a totally different location today. It feels kind of weird, but I'm kind of into it. I just kind of get sick of filming in my filming room. You guys know I've literally done this since I first started my channel. Like, I just can't stand redundant paper backdrops sitting in the same room. It kind of makes me crazy. So we're in my bedroom right now. I figured why not? I'm here today to talk to you about... <laughs> I'm here today to talk to you guys about that you all need. You're welcome. You can thank me later. That's okay, you don't even have to thank me. I still know you need this shit. It's bomb, okay? Everything that I have here to talk about today are things that I have personally purchased on Amazon that I love and adore. Now, these things do not have to be purchased on Amazon. These things can be found other places. I personally think that Amazon is the easiest thing in the entire world because I have the app on my phone and it's like dangerous. I'll like see someone walking by with like a cute hair clip and I'm like, I want that. And next, like literally 30 seconds later, I'm like, order, done. Like it's just one click of a button and it's so dangerous. I wanna talk about all the good stuff with you guys, the things that you genuinely need and will use and not the stupid stuff that's like, ooh, how exciting. And then it gets to your house and you use it one time and you're like, I'm never using this again. You know what I mean? Also, you guys, I think that this is the first time since I've been on YouTube, which I think we're at like seven years right now. I'm really not sure. I suck at time. But I am pretty sure this is the first time that I have come on camera to do like a sit down video where I'm doing like a favorites or something like that and not had on false lashes. Like, can we get into it? I am just embracing my natural lashes right now. She's humble. I think I get humble points. Hi, yeah, Austin. I think I need to buy another Birkin. Oh, I'm calling my sister. Ah, I don't wanna talk to her. Ah, just kidding, Rachie, I love you. Okay, no, but on a serious note, I am so proud of my lashes. I've been wearing false lashes so much less because, you know, quarantine things and just, giving my natural lashes a break. And I have been trying out so many mascaras. I went on like a mascara binge where I bought probably 15 different mascaras and I'm still continuing to buy them. And as of right now, I have two favorites that I'm wearing right now. I combine them and I'm obsessed with them. And I feel like my natural lashes, I really don't need false ones on a daily basis, which has made my makeup routine so much easier and so much faster for myself. And I'm not as stressed out about doing my makeup because lashes can just be stressful. It's a commitment. I don't want to know it. You guys came here to find out about some good shit. So let me stop talking about my lashes and talk about things that you need to own in your life. Let's just start with this because I have mentioned this. I've actually mentioned a few things sitting in front of me right now on my Insta stories. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go to Instagram, follow me on my Insta stories. It's just, I'm just Jacqueline Hill on Instagram. I have talked about this. It is a selfie stand. I hate that term selfie stand. It holds your phone and then moves around in different positions. So you can go live on Instagram. You can put your timer on. You can take pictures of yourself, pictures of your friends, whatever you want. It's adjustable. Like it just moves up. It moves down. I don't want to I'm really scared to pinch my hand right now doing this for you guys in this demonstration. So I just take my phone just like this, set it on there, lift this up, Ooh, there we go, and it's in there. And then you can just go over to your camera roll. You guys can see yourself, hello! <laughs> Hi YouTube! Oh my God, I look amazing. <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me? God, you people are selfish. Also, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked down below in my description box. You just scroll right down, you can click on it, purchase it, or you don't have to. It is going to be affiliate linked, which means I am gonna make a little bit of money off of it. I know people get upset by that, which I don't know why, because when you walk into Nordstrom, are you angry that the sales associate is making 5% off of every single mascara that she sells you? I don't know, maybe you are. Maybe you don't like to shop there. I do get a percentage if you click on the link, which I appreciate so much when you guys shop through any of my links. I really do. Also, one more thing that I wanna mention, like especially talking about the selfie stick, all the things I'm talking about today are good quality. I'm not gonna recommend you guys crap whatsoever. I have ordered so many things that have turned out just to be, everything is bomb. Like this is the best selfie stick. And when I talked about it on my Insta story, I got so many DMs from other influencers being like, oh my God, this is the best selfie stick ever. It, all the other ones are garbage. This one is amazing. So I know it's good and I know it's not. Okay, so another thing that I talked about on my Insta story, and I don't wanna be a pushy person, I'm not that person, but I really do think that this is something that everybody should buy. If you are someone who loves to drink out of straws, which I do, if it's in a can, I want a straw. If it's in a bottle, I want a straw. I love just drinking out of straws, even though it can cause kind of like smoker lines from going on a straw. It can give you wrinkles, but whatever, I love my straws. And because of the whole 
plastic, like non-plastic movement and all the metal straws. I can't stand a metal straw. Don't get me started. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. The texture in my teeth makes me crazy. It like bumps my teeth if I'm not paying attention. It stabs me in the gums and I'm like, Ugh! I hate metal straws. Hate is a strong word and I hate metal straws. This brand right here, Plasticless, super inexpensive, sold on Amazon. It's a big ass box, it's got tons of them in there. And you guys, you would not even know, you would not even know that these are not actually made out of plastic. Like, they've got the bend that we all love. <laughs> <laughs> it says right here, 200 straws come in this pack and they are 100% plant-based and they are biodegradable. So it's awesome. There's no excuse to not have these because again, they are not expensive. You get 200 of them and you're good to go. And they do not have any weird texture like all these other straws out there do. They feel like any normal straw and I am so thankful that those are actually a thing and somebody invented them. Okay, so this next thing has kind of like been a fad I've seen for some people. Like, I know it was like a really big thing for a minute there and then a lot of people stopped doing it. I personally, like, I feel like I can't live without my coloring books. Adult coloring is literally the best thing since sliced bread. It is so amazing. My friend Jackie, she asked me why I enjoy it so much because I say all the time how much it helps with my nerves and my anxiety and my stress level. Like it really brings me down. I always put on a little music. Sometimes I'll light some incense, I'll get weird, put some candles on, whatever it may be. And I just focus on what color looks good with what color. And I focus on being so precise and staying inside the line so well. I get so focused on it that like two hours will go by and I'm like, whoa, what just happened? Like I just forget about the world because I'm just focused so much on the color and the precision and it just takes me out of my head and puts my energy and my creativity into something else. And it's just good for you, it's good for your brain. Like, it's one of the reasons why we have kids do it. It's great for developing your brain and it's amazing for creativity. So I have some favorite books. I have personally probably purchased 15 to 20 coloring books at this point. And these ones right here, they are the best, just take my word. This brand right here, Johanna Bassford, they have a few different books and they are the absolute best ever. Just the paper, like the quality of the paper, it doesn't bleed through whatsoever. It's super thick and the way the marker glides, it's just really easy. And you can like, some pages are like crazy complex like that. And then other pages are just like, you know, giant fish that are much easier and not as intimidating. I personally like the really small pages. They're my favorite ones. Cause it's like, I get so sucked into it. Look at that castle. There's a crab in there. I wanna do this one next. There's Lost Ocean, there's Secret Garden. Ah! This one right here is what I'm currently working on right now. It's just flowers and butterflies and it's just, they're great books. And then this one right here, Magical Jungle is the third one, so good. You guys, I worked on my centerfold right here. Look at this shit. I worked on this for four days. Hello, this was so much Fun, oh my God, so much fun. And I was going through such a hard time this week and this was the best distraction in the entire world for me. I did this like two or three months ago. Oh, so much fun. So yeah, these three books, Secret Garden, Lost Ocean and Magical Jungle, the best books. Don't waste your time on anything else. They're a little bit pricier. I think they're like around 15 bucks, but like worth every single penny. And then this one is really cool because it's just got like the coolest designs in it and it's got a ton of them and they're super easy and they're not crazy intimidating if you are trying to find a book that doesn't scare you. Oh, that was not done by me. Let's talk about markers. I get asked this all the time what markers are my favorite. Uh, of course, again, I will link everything below in detail so it's easy for you guys. My favorite markers are, right, oh, it's upside down by the brand Hoo Hoo, I guess. I love it because it's so compact and easy to travel with and just like it zips right up and it's like moving on, kind of like an arts and crafts kit from when you're a kid. It does not look like this when you buy it, but because I work with them so often, they're totally like not color coordinated. Coordinated? Color coordinated right now, they're a total hot mess. It just looks like this, super easy, folds up and you're good to go. And these markers have two different sides to them. Like one side is a fat tip like that. And then the other side, is super, super, oh, can you see it? I'm trying to get it to focus, yeah. Super, super, super skinny, and so you can get like little itty bitty tiny details with that side. I love these markers so much, they're the best. Again, I ordered so many different markers, so many different colored pencils. I do not like colored pencils at all. I know that some people love them, I do not like them. They're not vibrant enough for me, they don't speak to me, I don't get excited as I'm doing it. Markers are just my way. These are basically the exact same thing, 
they come in a pack like this, but I don't like the way they're packaged because they can't go back up into their little book and be folded. But you get more color options with this. And they're literally the same thing. They're technically different brands. They're the same exact marker. I would never know the difference. And it literally like pulls out like this and you have five different rows of all the different markers. So many colors. Like you definitely get more bang for your buck with this one. But I personally just like the packaging of that one. Okay, so more just random things, right? Because I'll just get on Amazon sometimes and just like scroll through like the front page and just looked at things that are like recommended for me and look at reviews and be like, yep, but I'm buying it and we'll see if we like it. And if we don't, there's free returns. I return stuff all the time, but there's things I have found just from scrolling that I am in love with. For instance, these pajama pants. Oh my God, they're so cozy. They're so cozy. And again, so inexpensive. This is the print that I picked out because they have like a lot of like really loud, like over the top prints, but this was just the one that was like closest to my vibe. They were sold out of just black and gray when I was looking. So I was like, fine. The fabric of this is like, just trust me. It is so good. It is so stretchy. It is so comfortable. It's so soft. It's almost like that fabric that kind of feels like it has lotion in it almost. Do you hear Georgie? Dude. They have this waistband right here. It looks like that with a little drawstring waist. And the length is amazing because I cannot stand a pajama pant that's like, hitting like high waters, like hitting my ankle bone. And it's like, you expecting a flood? <laughs> like I would prefer if they dragged on the floor than if they were like too high. And I love the length of these. They're just so comfortable. They're great pants. They're inexpensive and I am all about them. So now let's talk about biker shorts. I don't know if you would technically call these biker shorts, but they're the shorts I wear all the time. And I've talked about it on Insta stories, but still every single time I post like something of me on Insta stories in the mirror or my outfit or anything, people are always asking, oh my God, where are the bikers from? Where are the bikers from? Amazon. These shorts are so incredible. They have a logo on the back. I don't even know what that technically says or it looks like shapes to me, but maybe I'm just, you know, not that smart. They have pockets in the side right here. So like great for working out. You can keep whatever, tampon, vibrator chapstick, whatever you need. Right here, these are the black ones. And then the other ones that I wear pretty often are these gray guys right here. They come in tons of different colors. I have them in coral, but mostly I have like four of them in black because I put these on on a daily basis because they're so damn comfortable. Like I can't even begin to tell you how comfortable they are. The only ones that are more comfortable than these are from American Eagle and they are always sold out. Like always, always, always sold out. And I only have them in one color and I'm like, can you guys get it together? Cause like I need them in every color, but they're always sold out. These are amazing. Again, inexpensive, so comfortable, breathable, but they also suck you in a little bit. Like they kind of just give you like a little, mm, so you're like <sighs> feeling tight, feeling right. Okay, this next item seems so simple, but it is out of everything I'm gonna talk about, the thing that I am the most shocked that I lived without my entire life because my whole life, when I get out of the shower, I have to sit in my towel for like at least 10 minutes. Like I have to plan my shower schedule around my life because I need to sit in my towel and chill before I actually put clothes on my body. I need to moisturize or maybe tan or whatever it may be. And my towel is always falling off of me. This is not some new invention. And it's just a Velcro towel. That's it. Like you just wrap it around your body and then you just Velcro it and you live your life. I will say this has enabled me so much at this point. Sometimes I will get out of the shower and not put on real clothes for like an hour or two. Like I just wear this around my house cause it's so comfortable. Like I'll get out of the shower, I'll do my whole exfoliating moment, all that, I'll get out, I'll put on my sunless tanner and I don't wanna put on clothes immediately. Like I want my sunless tan to like breathe and like I don't wanna ruin it. So I'll just put this on super loose, just like wrap it around me. I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, I'll just like wrap it around and I'll put it on super, super loose like this. And then I'm just like flowing. And I'm moving and I'm grooving. I don't have to worry about tan lines. See, it's just like, you can move in it. You can twirl. It doesn't have pockets though. It's the one thing it's missing. Otherwise I would literally leave the house and go to business meetings in this bitch. If you don't have this, you need it. I have four of them. This is so incredible. If you guys are anything like me and you carry your stress and your tension in your back, this is the most necessary thing in the world. I talked about this a couple years ago in like one of my like holiday gift guides and it's just a back massager. Hold on. Getting choked. It's a back massager. It has a plug right here. You plug it into the wall. You push the power button. It has its little settings. You can literally put your arms through this. There's two different arm straps, one that's higher, one that's lower. You can legit just sit like this on your computer and work while this thing just massages your back. Like those balls back there just rotate <laughs> and it feels so good. You can take it and like move it around like this and like get into all different areas. My employees pass it around while they're working and they're like, when you're done, can I use it? When you're done, let me use it because it is so 
good and you can change the speeds and like increase and you can like use it and like kind of pull on it and then make it like even more intense and it just works out your knots. If you guys are someone like me where you're like, I, I need a massage, I want a massage, that thing will be A plus. More random things, let's see here. This phone charger. How did I live without this phone charger? You guys, I don't even know. Screw the original Apple phone chargers. Those little like tiny, what was that? I'm like, this is like three inches. Like, <laughs> I was about to make a really dirty joke. <laughs> Gotta keep it appropriate. I just can't live without this thing. I have one plugged in on both sides of my bed, right there and right there. You can plug it in. You can literally like roll into the center of your bed on your phone and you're just still charging. You never have to deal with like, oh, it's tugging. Anytime someone comes to my house and asks for a phone charger and I grab this and plug it in, everyone's like, what is this? I need this. I mean, and they're again, Amazon, inexpensive. And it's got this little brown leather thing. So like when you roll it up, you can just snap it and it doesn't tangle and it keeps, keeps a little perfect little circle. <laughs> Cute. So my whole life, I've always been like the designated jar opener in my family for some reason. I'm just like spaghetti sauce, pickles, whatever it is. I don't know, I always had like the special touch. All of a sudden recently, I don't know if it's cause I have nails now, but like the past couple of years, I'm like losing my magic and I can't open up jars as easily. These guys right here make it so that even your child can open up a, a jar. Like you just take it like this and you just grab it and it's like boop and it just pops right off. It makes it so easy. It comes in a pack in all different colors and they're just like sticky, textured, thin, little rubbery things and you can open up anything. It's so simple. So if you're like a single woman and you feel like you don't have the muscles to do it and you need a man, which you don't, Let's get this. Next up, let's get into accessories. These sunglasses, Emily Gemma is the one who introduced me to these. And I love Emily Gemma so much. If you guys don't know who she is, she is a blogger influencer. I love her stories. She's like just so real and like such a hot mess sometimes, like in the best way possible. And I just adore her. And I love that she talks about high-end things and also very inexpensive things because I really trust her opinion. Like when she says, this is great, I know it's not because she's sponsored. I know it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I trust her opinion because times she'll be showing off like an expensive handbag, like, oh, I love this so much. And then she'll turn around and be like, oh, here are, the, here are these earrings for 15 bucks. I love these too. And I'm like, that's my kind of girl. I love it. Relatable. She was talking about these sunglasses and I had to order them. They are so cute. Like, can we get into this moment? And I think they're like $15 maybe. They honestly look so designer. I think they come in like a brown, like tortoise shade-ish something, but I like the black. I'm just a... I like black. As a girl who has probably 200 pairs of designer sunglasses, I love these and appreciate them so much because they are so lightweight. I feel like designer sunglasses are so heavy that it's like, good luck trying to wear them with makeup because they just sit on your nose with so much pressure and it's like, goodbye makeup, goodbye bake, good, goodbye nose contour, like it's over. Some would say they feel cheap. I don't give a damn. I think they feel great because they would not ruin my makeup. So. I love these. And they come in a cute little pouch. Like, ugh. I talked about this on my Insta stories as well and I could not believe. It was literally sold out. I talked about it, it was sold out like 10 minutes later and people were pissed. And I'm like, I don't know what happened. It's literally this candle lighter that charges by USB. You just plug it into your wall. I light candles every single day and this needs to be charged probably like every three weeks. So it lasts a long time. And all you do is just turn it on and then push the, the little lighter button right there. It just, you see like the little, if I stuck my finger in there, I don't even know what would happen and I ain't gonna experiment. But it lights your candles so fast. You like hold it, it's like boop, lit. It's crazy how fast it lights. So you don't have to sit there like trying to flick over and over and over and like holding the flame, waiting for it to light. It's like, you just like touch it to the wick and it's like, boom, done. So fast, so easy and it's chargeable. So you can have it forever. Just keep plugging it in. Two more things before I get into some hair products. This fan right here, you guys know that I always use a fan as of the past, I don't know, two years, use a fan to dry my, my setting spray at the very end after I get done doing my makeup. And I used to use this white one all the time until I found this one. What's so cool is that you press these two buttons and it folds like this. So it gets like super compact, but you guys, the power of this fan. If my hair was down right now, my hair would be fully blown back. Like I was on set, like on hot days, you can just grab one, throw it in your purse, grab one, throw it in the car, grab one, go outside by the pool, like whatever it may be. Setting spray, it doesn't matter. Like we all need a fan. 
I like to put mine on my shirt because I get so sweaty all the time. Ugh. This right here is such a random thing, but Desi Perkins was talking about it on her stories a couple months ago. She was talking about just using these to scrub your nails when washing your hands. And I was like, oh my God, what a good idea. Why haven't I thought about this? I keep one under my kitchen sink. I keep one in all my bathrooms. And now every single time I wash my hands, I just grab this and I just scrub my nails and scrub inside my nails. I know it sounds weird, but I never noticed how much like dirt can get stuck down in there. I never really thought about it. But then when I used it and I looked at both hands, I was like, oh wow. Like there's so much bacteria that could be built up in there that I don't even think about on a daily basis. So now I just use this and it keeps my cuticles looking good. Oh, that gem fell off. <laughs> Don't judge my nails, I get them done day after tomorrow. But it keeps my cuticles looking good and it keeps my nails looking fresh and no dirt and bacteria. And again, super cheap and you just keep them in your bathrooms. Ooh, I have some jewelry. Okay, so let's talk about some Amazon jewelry that I've been loving. I was a little skeptical about jewelry at first when I started buying from Amazon. I have bought some things where I'm like, nope, not the vibe, this needs to go back. But for instance, these gold hoops I'm wearing right now, these are from Amazon. I just got them a couple weeks ago and I love them. Like I'm putting them on all the time. Again, super, super lightweight because obviously they're not real gold. There's no diamonds on them or anything like that. that's gonna weigh them down. Super, super lightweight and not irritating me at all, which is great because I'm super sensitive. I was talking on Insta stories just last week about how I bought this super cute necklace from Revolve and it gave me such a bad rash. I actually still have it, but I have makeup all over to cover up, but I'm really sensitive to fake metals. It's really annoying. So all the jewelry I'm talking about has not given me any of that effect. It's gonna be really hard for me to show you these earrings because they're more dainty. So I will link them down below and you can just click on them and you can see like close up actually shots of them on Amazon if you want. But these right here are so cute. Let me try to focus. Okay, so it has like the little gold elongated heart with the evil eye in the center. And then the actual part that goes into your ear hole is a little hoop with little, I guess you would call fake diamonds. Wait, what do we call that? What do you call it? She's humble. I think I get humble points. Okay, maybe I'm not humble anymore. <laughs> But yeah, they are super, super cute. I love the little evil eye, like the eye is blue. So it's like a little pop of color, like cute for summer. I love blue and gold together, adorable. And then this is the same brand, I believe. So this one just has like a little dangly guy right there. Wow, I really feel like an old school influencer right now with my hand out, like giving it to you guys, yeah! And it's just cute, it just hangs down and gives you like a little dangle and a little diamond, a little sparkle, I love it. And then this necklace right here, again, evil eye. And I love, love, love necklaces like this. Sometimes they can kind of like wear out and go bad kind of quickly, which can be irritating. Put it on your neck and then you can just use this to tighten or make it less tight. So you can let it sit where you want to and control where it sits on your neck, which I think is so, Amazing, and it's just fake diamonds, and it's the evil eye, and it just sits, like, it sits right here on me, and it doesn't flip when I, like, let it sit right there. See, it looks like that. I love that the chain is super shiny. It's got, like, a little, like, reflection to it, because I don't like dull chains. I love my chains to have shine and, like, hit the light and be like, ooh, ah, what's that? This ring that I'm wearing right here is from Amazon as well. I've been wearing this ring constantly. I'll hold it closer for you guys. There we go. Sorry about my nails, guys. I'm getting them done. But yeah, this guy right here is also from Amazon and I love it. I think it's just so cute, such a fun pop of color for summer. And see, I'm wearing it right next to real diamonds. Like this right here is real, this is real. And it just like, it works. You know what I'm saying? Like I love com like combining like mixed metals and things that are like real and fake in different price points. It's just like, I don't know, it looks, it looks really cool and I love it. And I'm the reason I'm saying this is because I know that there are a lot of women who follow me because I get their DMs all the time who really are into like extremely expensive high-end things. And of course, the majority of you guys are like, no bitch, we don't want to spend a ton of money on like real jewelry and all that. Like, let's keep it like, let's keep it real, okay? <laughs> so I'm trying to talk to all of you guys, whether you love only like real jewelry and you don't want to wear costume jewelry, I'm saying like as someone who owns a lot of real jewelry and loves, loves diamonds, Amazon is still the shit. It's still good, it still rocks, it still looks good, it still looks cool, it's trendy, I like it. Okay, so let's wrap this up with some hair products. Number one are my scrunchies. I have been looking for the best scrunchies for so long, like years I have been wearing scrunchies and I just, I can't stand velvet scrunchies, they drive me crazy and I think it's only for a certain look and I just don't like them in my hair. Don't ask, just not my thing. These are my favorite scrunchies ever. 
I love the Silk brand scrunchies. You can also buy those on Amazon. I'll link those below for you as well. I love them, they're so comfortable, but they do stretch out over time. Like they get bigger and bigger and bigger. These don't get bigger. These stay the exact same size. I've had these right here, they come in a pack. I have the black one in my hair right now. It comes in black, this taupe, and then this gray, and they do not stretch. I have worn these for like over a year and they're still amazing. And what's so great about a scrunchie, if you're wondering like why scrunchies, my hairdresser told me to start wearing scrunchies around the house a long, long, long time ago. The reason why you wear them is because it's so good for your hair. It doesn't pull on your hair. It doesn't tug on your hair like an actual hair twisty, like a hair tie does, like the old school ones that we all used to wear. It doesn't rip out your hair and it doesn't bend your hair. So if you put your hair into a ponytail for a couple of hours and you take it out, you're not gonna have that huge bend, like that kink on your head from wearing a hair tie. These don't do that. So I will put them down below. When I tell you I've ordered every single scrunchie on Amazon, I've ordered every single one of them. Every one of them. These are my favorite. <sighs> the wet brush, sorry. I've owned this for a very, very long time. And it kind of looks like I used it to brush my dog recently. I have tried so many different hair brushes. I'm very, very, very picky about hair brushes. The wet brush is my absolute favorite one. This one is the paddle brush. They also have um, like a handheld one that's like smaller. You can like go like this. I don't like it as much. I like this. It goes through my hair without ripping my hair out. It doesn't matter if my hair is tangly, if it's wet, if it's dry. I love this brush. I naturally have very straight hair with like barely any bend in it whatsoever. So when I blow dry my hair, I just use this and my hair is like pin straight. Like like hay, but it's just so good because it doesn't rip out your hair. I'm like, I really wish that was around when I was a kid because I would just be sitting there like while my mom's brushing my hair with tears streaming down my face and she'd be like, pain is beauty, sweetheart. I'm just like, okay. These kids don't know. They just don't know. Okay, this little comb right here. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. This side has honestly a weapon. This could literally, this could kill someone. This is very, very aggressively like pretty sharp. But I use this to like do my part that I did today. Like if I'm doing braids or just when I get done blow drying my hair, I'll just take this side and just part my hair wherever I want it. And it just makes it so precise and so straight. And then also this side right here is just such a fine, like tight little tooth comb. That's also what I used just to comb. Yeah, to comb out my hair today. Just like slick it back and slick it down. Mama was not having a good hair day and I said, no, no, not today, Satan. We're not gonna even try to fake it. It's not happening. It's either a hat or a slick back. And that's what we did. Can't live without this. I'm obsessed. Okay, this gold toothbrush right here. It's so random, but it's so cute. Jesus, who is a hairdresser out in LA who always does my hair anytime that I'm out there. He's so amazing, so talented. He told me how badly I needed a good toothbrush to handle my baby hairs because I have a lot of baby hairs. And God, I need you so bad, Jesus, come back back to my life, please Lord, come back to Tampa and spend some time with me and just give me like a 101 on my baby hairs. He's always like, oh, you have the best baby hairs. They're so amazing. I'm like, what? <sighs> what am I doing with them? So I use this little gold toothbrush. I just spray hairspray on it or like put some gel on it. And then we'll just like handle my bitch ass. Like if it's up here, if it's flyaways, if it's trying to smooth out my baby hairs, if it's trying to be an artiste of some sort, it's super, super, super cute because it's just gold. So it's like, ooh, ha, fun. And not just like a random toothbrush from Walgreens and it's inexpensive. Okay, these hair ties, oh my God. They are so amazing. I don't remember what blogger introduced me to these. I think it might be Dressed Up Buttercup. I think it was her talking about this on her Insta stories. They are so stretchy. They don't bend your hair. They're so easy to put on. They're not uncomfortable. I will never, ever, ever go back to like those original tiny, tight little hair ties. I don't even remember the last time that I used them. I refuse. Like it's either scrunchies or this. They are so comfortable. Like I can't handle the headache. Like these are just bomb. And again, they don't bend your hair. They're so comfortable and they're so much better for your hair than just like those little ones, they're just like ripping, ripping your shit out. I'm not into it. So comfortable hair ties. <laughs> I love this next product so much. All this is, is just like a scalp scrubber. I use it to wash my hair. Yesterday or two days ago, I washed my hair and it was the first time since I bought this that I didn't have this in the shower. <sighs> and I was so upset as I was washing my hair. I'm like, of course, in there, like soaking wet. And I'm like, get out of the shower. Do I wobble through my house right now to go find the stupid thing? Because ever since I started using it, there's no other way to wash your hair. It's just like these little, almost like silicone-y feeling little pointy scrubbers. And I put the shampoo in my hair like normal, or maybe I'll put a little on this. And then I just go in and it's got this little thing to like hold on to as you're doing it. And you just go in there and just scrub your scalp. I take it down, I take it on my neck, I like bring it all my shoulders. It feels so 
good. It gets your shampoo all nice and foamed up. Mm, I love it. Okay, my last two products. These last two products are both dry shampoos. I asked you guys on Twitter a while ago for all of your favorite dry shampoo recommendations. I ordered all the top ones, plus I ordered a ton more. I'm not kidding, I ordered probably over 20 dry shampoos. And these two, I'm not gonna say that they're my very, very, very favorites. Actually they are. Yeah, this and then one other one are my most used. The first one is by Dove. You guys, this is so good and it smells so good. It's very fragrant, but it's a good fragrance. And whenever I spray this Jordan, he's always complimenting how good I smell. And I'm like, really? Like I'll wear a $200 perfume and I don't get a compliment, but I put some Dove dry shampoo on my dirty bitch ass. And he's like, oh, you smell amazing. I'm like, okay, great. That's how this is gonna work. But it really does. It smells so good. And it does not leave a horrible white cast. There is a white cast. I mean, I do have black hair. There is a white cast, but it's not, it's not awful. And what I do when I spray dry shampoo, if it leaves a white cast, I rub it in with my hands, of course, and then I grab my blow dryer and I'll just grab a brush and I'll just like quickly like go like this. And not only does the heat and the dry shampoo make my hair have more volume, but it also will get rid of the white cast. So that's my little tip. The next one is, I should say the last one. This is my last thing in the video. Oh my God. This is by IGK and this is called the First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. Amazing. I love this stuff so much. It works so well. I love IGK as a hair care brand. I think that they're really great. I kind of had a blackout on Amazon and bought a ton of their stuff maybe like a month ago. I'm still using a lot of it and like trying it out. This was like the second I sprayed it, I was like sold. I love it. It's so, so, so good. Again, doesn't really leave too much of a white cast. It's not too bad at all. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoy. That went by so fast for me. Like so fast. And these are my favorite types of videos to film and they're my favorite types of videos to watch. I have not done a video like this in so long. So please tell me if you guys enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and more than anything, head over to my Insta stories and follow me there. Not, not my Insta, follow to my Insta. <laughs> Head over to my Instagram and follow me there because this is the kind of stuff that's on my Insta stories all the time. Like I said, I have so many more things I could talk about, but I didn't want to overload this video and just be like, too much, you know? But everything in this video are things that I use on a daily or weekly basis. Like if you took any of these things out of my house, I would be like, where'd that go? Why is that missing? Like I use these things constantly and want to tell you guys like my best, most favorite things that I have purchased on Amazon. So yeah, make sure that you guys leave your favorite purchases down below. Also tweet me them. Love that and I can retweet. Also DM me, leave comments on my Instagram. Let me know because things like this, are just necessary. Like plasticless straws, who knew that we needed it? Now we do, save the damn turtles, you know? That's it, I love you guys. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.